What's going on everybody? We are back and today I have a different video for you guys. We have the MD5. I'm just gonna do a little review on this disc. This is very hyped up. Everyone that I've been playing with in like my tournaments at Route 33 last weekend, everyone was throwing it and they were just like loving it. But they're throwing it on four hands. It feels great in the four hands. I just wanna test this disc out. We got a basket about 230 down there. Simple little hyzer. I also have some discs. I brought the Ganon Burr Permafrost MX1 that I do throw right now currently. I have my XL Mutant that I got in the X-Mania video, if you guys saw that. And my 2019 MD5. What the? Now, this is a little seasoned, so this probably will be a little flip up before it stables out. But I just, this was more usable than my Mutant. The Mutant just died instantly. Start out with the old MD5. So, yeah, it's a little flip up, but it's mostly just a pushing hyzer. That's what I expected. MX1, this is a, kind of should be the same. Yeah, pretty much the same thing. Didn't flip up as much as that MD5 though. And we got the Mutant. That was a yank job. It just dies, I, I just not. I just don't like it. Not a fan. MD5. Okay. I like it, it's definitely stable, but it's not like as beefy as the Mutant where it just dies and has no glide, so let's go pick them up. All right, so that's kind of what you would expect from most of these. Now, the thing with the MD5 with this run of the 2023 is it was very hyped up because people it was said it was actually usable, and it's, what, a 5, 5204 and, or 5.3 or something, which is like no glide. So you would think it would die, but this one, honestly, it's pretty glidey. We're going to try them again, just flat release. We'll do the this MD5. Yeah, MX1. Yeah, pretty stable. And the Mutant, oh boy. This is so beef, man. It's something about the rim. I just don't like how it feels in my hand. That might be why. And then MB5. I love it, love that flight. Ooh, I just love them. I've never been a big forehand guy for mid ranges. I've never forehanded middies, but this feels phenomenal for a forehand. I'll tell you what. Um, now we're gonna do an Anheuser on all these. Remember, I know I hate Anheusers, so relax. But that's just not enough Annie. Damn, try that. And the next one's honestly usable. I literally never throw it. Now this mutant. Fought out of it great. Still a good shot. I just I just don't like how it feels. Decent amount of Anheuser got out of it. Glides. Still high. Yeah, that's so good. I'm loving this thing. I really am. I think the people were right. This MD5, I mean it's so good. We're gonna try four hands now. I'm dying to forehand this thing. Uh, we're gonna start with the other one, just a flat release, put it out left, see what happens. A little bit of a headwind, that's why that turned, but still fine, I mean, that one's fine. A little seasoned, try the mutant. Missed my lime. MX1. Not a fan of forehands on these. This one though. Yeah, I love that. That feels so good. Feels good on forehands. So we're gonna try these now on Anheuser's. See, I'm a huge Anheuser forehand guy, and if I have an Anheuser for like a 250 foot approach, I'm gonna take it. This one, so the little bit of Annie. Wow, okay, that had no fight. Mutant. Wow, that's insane. MX1. They're all just going like 200 feet. MD5, come on, I like this. Yep. Of course, the MD5 is the best one. Feel great. Anheuser's are nice. The other three I threw literally just died. So, I mean, the headwind, I guess probably made that happen and they also don't have much glide. The MD5, it's so much glidier, so that's why I got out of that. All right, last thing 
before we end the video, guys, we're gonna do a spike hyzer with all these. About 235. Do this MD5. There is a left to right. That's why I threw it. Not bad. And put that one wide enough. There's the right width. Ooh, it's close. All right, MD5. Now this one with the glide should. Yeah, that's so good. Go in for the boys. Oh, the MD5 is phenomenal. If you guys haven't, I highly suggest purchasing one. But the hype is real about it. It's so usable. The glide is perfect. Uh, I love it. So you guys have a good one. Be safe. I got D-Glow coming up next week for you. See how far we can get it. Oh, not too shabby. Very beefy.